Hey everyone, I'm Melanie of Art Studio 320 and this week I'm going to teach you how to decoupage on furniture. And as a bonus, I'm going to teach you how to remove it. What? Yeah, and this is why. Last week I did a piece of furniture that I thought the decoupage would look really great. And I did all three drawers and decided it wasn't the right piece of furniture for decoupage. And then I had to figure out how to remove it. So I went to YouTube because I figured figured for sure there would be something on there that I could use, but for what I was doing, there just wasn't. So I needed to figure it out and then share it with you. Of course, I'm going to share it with you. So stick around so you can learn how to decoupage. And then if you don't like it, I'm going to teach you how to remove it. Stick around. <music> Okay, I am using Dixie Belle's Gator Hide because it's a top coat, but you don't need to use Dixie Belle's Gator Hide. You can use a different top coat as long as it's water-based, and you're going to want to apply two coats. I'm going to apply my first coat and let it dry, and then apply my second coat and let it dry, and then I'll be ready for the tissue paper. All right, before we get to the next part, I wanted to show you what I'm using today. I'm using Dixie Bells. They're calling it decoupage paper. It's kind of a rice paper. It's very fibrous. And you can also use any kind of tissue paper. And you could even use wrapping paper. You also need some parchment paper. Do not confuse that with wax paper. This is what you would use for baking cookies. Um, you want to do that to protect your tissue paper. You don't want to scorch it. And you don't want your iron, which you need, iron. I put it on a nylon setting. And if you think that that's not warm enough, you can kind of crank it up a little bit, but you know, kind of use, use logic. Um, you don't want it on the highest setting. You don't need it on the highest setting. You just want something that's going to melt that top coat a bit so that tissue paper will adhere to the top coat. Speaking of top coats, I use the Gatorade. Gator, I, say Gatorade. I use the Gator Hide, but you don't need the Gator Hide. Just some kind of top coat, but I would suggest that you stick to a water-based top coat. And you also need some kind of finer grit uh, sandpaper. I would stick to maybe a 220 or um, maybe even a 180 or something like that. I wouldn't get near the 60 grit or the 80 grit because you might fray your tissue paper. And that's only when you need to sand off your edges if you were planning on decoupaging the, the whole top of the drawer or top of your dresser or whatever it is you're doing. All right, let's get to work. Okay, now there's two different ways you can do this. You can cut out your small pieces like I did, or you can cover the entire area, for example, the top of this drawer. But I'm using just small pieces, and you're gonna want to put them down nice and flat, and then put the parchment paper over it, and then apply your iron, and move it around. You don't wanna just sit it there. And you'll, you'll know right away, you'll get a feel for when it's done and you can kind of check it and then um, when it's all done you'll know it <laughs> because it won't be peeling in any places and if it is there you go you can just apply the iron again <music> Notice that I'm not pressing hard on the iron. I'm just moving around nice and easy just to get the poly a little bit sticky so that the tissue paper will adhere to it. Now here you can see it's a corner piece and so I've got the extra over the sides and you can watch here how I handle the corner piece. You want to make sure that you get it right on the edge. You don't want that white to come over on the top. 
and then you just iron it on. And then when you're sure it's nice and secure, you're gonna take your sanding block or sanding paper. Now, <laughs> full disclosure, I think that this might be a 60 grit. Start with a higher number and then work your way down. And some people sand away from the drawer and then there's me who just kind of sanded it back and forth until it started to peel off. Just do it slowly and lightly. You don't want to have a heavy hand on that. And if you had a piece that was going across the entire drawer, the cool part is you can put a larger piece than the size of the drawer and then just iron across the top and then take the parchment paper off and then just move that sandpaper around the edge of the drawer and you'll have a nice clean line and you won't have to cut it or measure or anything. Perfect. And when you're all finished and it looks beautiful and you want to keep it, then you need to put one more coat of whatever top coat you decide to use so it will last a long time. And I am now on my last flower, I'm finished. And here is how it looks when I'm all done. <laughs> and now comes the part where I'm taking it off because I really didn't like how it looked. And I started with a little bit of sandpaper and I noticed that it was coming off pretty easily because I hadn't sealed it yet with another layer of top coat. But I was leery of using the sandpaper on top of the top coat. So what I decided to use was my spray bottle and just watch this. It's crazy how it just came right off. Now I noticed that there was some glue residue left behind after I wiped it off and I needed to figure out how I was going to combat that because I didn't want that to be left behind as a finish. So I did use a paper bag wrapped around the sanding block just to buff it out a little bit and I also used some simple green. I'm sorry I didn't show any of that. Now look at how easily you might even be able to save those, let them dry, and use them again. I didn't think of it in the moment, but I'm telling you, definitely try and save them. I noticed that the, the residue was kind of dull, and it occurred to me that perhaps just another layer of top coat would be enough, and it turned out that it was. That's all I have for you today. I hope that you found this to be inspirational. I hope you found it to be informative. And I hope that you're thinking right now of the perfect piece of furniture that you can decoupage on. But if you get to the end and you decide it just isn't the right piece, now you know how to fix it. Just do what I did. If you haven't subscribed yet, please take a moment and press that red button. You'll be doing me a huge favor. You can also follow me on Instagram. And the link for that will be in the description box below along with all the materials that I use today. Thanks for being here. See you next time.